Hey everyone, um, I'm here today to talk about assessment in your comprehensive school counseling program. Um, so obviously we've been talking a lot about assessing all the way through your program. And um, assessment really is at the heart of a data-driven school counseling program. And it's really important just to get a handle on um, how your interventions worked throughout the school year, what you can change for the following school year, um, you know, how you, just to get an understanding of how you met your goals um, and a variety of other things just to, to really get a feel for how your program impacted the school overall. So I go ahead and share my screen. I know what's happening here. Okay. All right. So analysis of program results is the heart of having a data informed program. Um, it ensures each program is assessed for effectiveness and provides the basis for informed decision making. Uh, analyzing results, consequent, consequently adjusting activities means programming is more focused and interventions are more effective. So you're gonna be doing this throughout the school year. Um, obviously you're, you're kind of doing pre-tests and post-tests on your um, activities that you conduct throughout the year, but your the, the bulk of your major assessment of your program will come at the end of the year um, when you're looking at kind of what you've done all year and how those interventions worked out. The results reports that you're going to be completing are classroom and group results report and your closing the gap results report. Where to start? You're going to report the data on the results report. So reports of results in the template must be concise and succinct. So there's templates for this in your module. Comparisons should be easily viewed and understood. Supporting documentation provides specifics of what was measured and how. And then copies of surveys administered as pre and post tests should be um, provided. And graphs and charts of before and after results can be provided. You want to report on participation data. So the number of participants and the number of sessions, so how many students were impacted by this intervention, and that's evidence that it occurred. And then you're going to report on your mindsets and behaviors data. So what participants think they know, believe, or can do, um, usually collected through measures of self-reports of attainment of competencies, attitudes, beliefs, and perceived gains in knowledge. So remember, this is built into the templates of your lesson plans and your small, you can do your small group planning sheets. So um, it has like, a, you know, you just ask questions about the mindsets at the beginning before you do the intervention. And since the lesson is focused on the mindsets and behaviors, they're very likely going to hopefully learn the mindsets and behaviors that you've targeted in the intervention. And then you do a post test, just asking what they think they know about those mindsets and behaviors after. You're gonna report the before and after score and average or percent for the surveys. Um, so it's really simple. I mean, you're just asking for those answers. Um, you could do a Likert scale like one, two, three, four, five. Um, and if you know there's 25 students and they scored uh, an average of a three before and they scored a 4.5 after, you can see that that's a gain in knowledge there or skills, whatever that knowledge or skill is. Okay. Um, and then outcome data. So the outcome data is specifically defined by the goal statement. Um, so you know your, your annual outcome goals. Um, it's not just your annual outcome goals. This could be for anything, um, whatever the goal is on any activity. Um, but you're going to look at the outcome of that goal. So you, are, you can look at achievement, attendance, or behavior and discipline data. You can report the final outcome data but this specifically here is geared toward those annual outcome goals. So give consideration to what the data tells you about your intervention. What worked, what didn't, what else do you need to know? What additional resources are needed to improve? Take the time to consider the implications and make the difference in improving your practice or just maintaining the status quo. So hopefully, you know, when you've created your annual outcome goals, you also came up with all these interventions to help. So, Let's say you had an, a goal about attendance. Maybe you had a series of outreach activities that you provided to both the students and the families. Maybe you made phone calls home. Maybe you um, did a small group about managing um, yourself in your morning routines. Um, 
maybe you figured out that there was some underlying issue with transportation that you worked to solve. So with all these different interventions, there should be some improvement um, because that's the whole point of setting the goal, obviously. You're going to implement interventions that actually help solve the goal. And this, you know, by looking at the data, you can kind of see what the growth has been, and then you can consider, you know, what changes need to be made for next year, um, et cetera. And then you want to report the data, the data to stakeholders. So this can lead to increased support of the school counseling program because at the end of the year, when you tell your principal and your advisory counselor, hey, we implemented these goals and these were the outcomes. And to see how the school counseling program has really impacted the um, livelihood and the achievement of the students at this school positively, they're going to be like, yeah, you're really valuable. I'm going to let you spend 80% of your time in direct service to students when maybe they, they didn't see as much what you could do and put you on more duty related activities previously. So links the school counseling program with enhancing student success and closing achievement gaps and it may indicate a need for increased school counseling services. If you're doing really well and you're and then you can show in the data hey if we had one more school counselor we could do triple this. There you go advocating for your program and maybe if they if the principal thought it was a worthy endeavor, they, they would provide you with more resources or even another school counselor or something like that. Ways to share, you could share at an end of year faculty meeting, a leadership meeting, advisory council, PTA newsletters, school counselor bulletin boards, and school board presentation. I would also recommend putting this on your website. Um, you can share this in a one page format. You explain the reason why data were collected. You want to describe your data collection strategies and provide the results in a bullet chart or graph format and provide recommendations or implement implications of data. Moving on to your classroom results report. The classroom results report is an analysis of the lesson plan results report and demonstrates effectiveness of program and, and classroom activities. So school counselors need to consider whether the lesson was delivered as planned, if every student was served, and how effective and appropriate it was. Um, classroom, those so the classroom resor, results report. So in identifying implications, you're going to ask, were appropriate learning goals identified? Did the choice of curriculum and or activities support the goals? What can be learned from participation data? Were the lessons delivered to all students? Were they conducted as scheduled? What can be learned from the mindsets and behaviors data? Did students report increase in knowledge, change in attitudes, increase skills? Did pre and post assessments tell me what I needed to know? And if you follow the lesson plan template, it has all this built in, so it's gonna be really easy for you to assess this later. Um, you just hold on to your pre and post tests and then you can look at your mindset data. You look at your calendar to see who was served and when um, and that helps you look at your participation data. Um, what can be learned from the outcome data? What was the impact on achievement, attendance, and discipline? So you know you are structuring your annual outcome goals based on the needs of your campus and then you build your guidance lessons and your small group activities to support those goals. So hopefully all the lessons that you did throughout the school year were in support of those goals. So if we can look at that outcome data, we can see that these lessons likely had a, a deep impact on the achievement and attendance and discipline of the students in the school. So it all comes together and this assessment piece helps you look at how it all comes together and, and make improvements for later. Um, after reviewing the report, what are the implications or recommendations and how can school counselors do better? Um, so yeah, we obviously, we want to look at how all the pieces of the puzzle came together and you know, what, what are our areas of improvement for next year? Um, and then we want to look at our small group results report. So this report helps school counselors know and report the impact of small group interventions. The results can validate what works and guide school counselors to eliminate or modify that which does not. It guides in the improvement of small group de services delivered to students. Identifying implications. So we're, we're gonna ask the same kinds of questions. Were our small groups appropriate and meaningful goals identified for the group 
of students? Did the activities or interventions support the goals? What can be learned from analyzing the participation data? Consider group size, group membership, number of sessions, time and scheduling of groups. What can be learned from mindsets and behaviors data? Did students report increase in knowledge, change in attitudes, increased skills? Did pre and post assessments tell me what I needed to know? And what can be learned from outcome data? What was the impact on achievement, attendance, and dif discipline? And after reviewing the report, are, the implications, are, the, are there implications or recommendations? And how can school counselors do better? Um, you may also be doing your small group activities with your closing the gap students. So th that directly leads into our next report, which is the Closing the Gap Results Report. So CTG activities address important issues of equity and student achievement. Thus, the implementation and analysis of these results is significant. School counselors as advocates and agents of positive change must have the results of these activities to document impact, improve programming, and report to stakeholders. Um, so when we're identifying the implications of the closing the gap interventions, we wanna ask ourselves, what can be learned from analyzing the participation data? Were all students identified included? Did the activities happen as planned? So did we actually follow through with our plan to close the gap? What can be learned from our mindsets and behaviors data? Did students report increase in knowledge, change in attitude, increase skills? Did the pre and post assessments tell me what I needed to know? What can be learned from outcome data? What was the impact on achievements, atten achievement, attendance, and discipline? And after reviewing the report, what are the impl implement implications or recommendations? How can school, how can I reach more students? How can the school counseling program reach more students and identify and close more gaps? So to complete these reports, you're gonna wanna use the, the templates in the implementation guide. And I'm going to close that out and show you. Uh, oh, the screen sharing's been closed. Just a second. Okay. And so we have our templates here. So this is our Closing the Gap Action Plan Results Report. So we're looking at what we've done. And if you follow the template, it'll be just fine here. Same thing with the small, the uh, results report in your small groups. So you're looking at grade level, group topic, domains, um, M and Bs, projected start and end, process, number of students affected, perception data from the surveys and assessments and the outcome data. So you just wanna make sure that you're collecting that each time you do an activity, your pre-test and your post-test. That helps you complete these reports at the end of the year really easily. All right, so that's all I have for you for right now, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.